This is a corkscrew dive. It's one of the most difficult maneuvers you can pull off in a helicopter and one that Tom Cruise learned to fly himself. It was his own real life impossible mission because Ethan Hunt and his team are back. It's another race against time after an operation gone wrong. What the hell is he doing? I find it best not to look. Cruz put in about three months of solid days in the classroom and in the air to gain the skills that he needed. He came to helicopter school at Airbus in Texas, so we did too, to find out what's involved. By taking some classes and taking the controls. Show me your feel sure light the seat a little bit. Yeah, light the bottom of my stomach a little bit. Cruz has made a name for himself as a Hollywood daredevil, doing many of his own extremely risky scenes, back since the Mission Impossible franchise started in 1996. Red light! Green light! But this is extreme, even for him. This is the H-125, a lighter class of helicopter. I mean, this isn't just any old H-125, this is the one that was actually used this in the, the movie, This is the one right? that was used in the movie, you're absolutely correct. Matt Evans, my instructor, a super experienced pilot himself, breaks down how he'd approach a corkscrew dive. A maneuver like that would have to be very carefully planned out. Initially, you'd start with nosing the nose over. That would initiate the descent. Roll gently into a turn. Hold the turn as you come down, watching the uh, rotor RPM, because as the G-forces increase, that's going to want to spin the rotor RPM very, very fast. That can in itself cause a lot of trouble for both the pilot and the, and the aircraft itself. So you'd have to limit that by constantly keeping your hands on the controls, watching what's going on both inside and out simultaneously. Got that? Not sure I have, but training starts in the classroom. Much of becoming a pilot is theory. It's book learning and exams. It can take a week of eight-hour days just to get the basics, and then there are tests. <laughs> the next step is a state-of-the-art simulator, the place that you can make mistakes without dying. It's surprisingly realistic, though. It replicates the feel of flying faithfully with legs that jog it up and down and wrap around screens inside. Hold on back there. Ready? Hold on. Matt's making it look easy. This maneuver is pretty close whoa, to the corkscrew whoa, dive. Whoa, 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 whoa. Helicopters are particularly challenging to fly because as a pilot you have to be constantly engaged with the controls. Right hand on the cyclic, left hand on the collective, feet on the pedals. Move one and you have to adjust all the others too. We're taking the simulator to its, li its limits at this point. As a novice I grip the controls too hard and my adjustments just aren't subtle enough. Even when I try to fly straight and level, we drift. It's gusty, is that possible? Are we in like weight uh, area or is that just me not being able to fly? That's actually just you learning. Oh, okay. What is going on? It's a lot harder than it looks. At the end of that flight, I'm ready for a break. But next, things are getting real. It's time to take to the air and see how much I've remembered. I'm in the pilot seat, front right, but Matt is alongside with dual controls. And to be clear, he's the one flying here. This is when a helicopter feels incredible, when you're this close to the ground. Floating on a cushion of air. You ready to take the controls for a minute? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be right here with you, okay? We'll count it down. In three, two, one, you have the flight controls. I know it doesn't look dramatic, but trust me, this is stressful. I thought I'd be tempted to just try out some maneuvers, but focusing on level flight is enough to make me sweat. A little bit of pressure. I feel like you can spend time in the simulator and in the classroom, and those things are obviously important, but there's nothing like being out here and seeing real life going on below us. And my hands are actually a little bit tense and tight just from holding these controls, and I wasn't even doing anything. I'm definitely not trying a corkscrew dive, and neither is Matt. It's not only taxing on the pilot, but also the aircraft. So it's not something you do on a routine training flight. But we can get pretty close. Here, Matt is pointing us straight down with a lurch that feels like a roller coaster. Terrain. Terrain. The terrain, terrain warning means please don't crash into the rapidly approaching ground. I feel like I understand why Cruz wanted to fly his own stunts. It's the only way to make this look fully real. Whoa, that's what I want. How was that, McHugh? Uh, very upsetting here. Well, I guess that's a sprint. Absolutely. The next challenge for the Mission Impossible crew was how to show the audience that Cruz really is the pilot. 
while most aerial chases you'll see from a helicopter, we don't usually turn the cameras in. So we've developed these rigs over the last couple of months where we can basically hard mount cameras to show that Ethan Hunt is flying the helicopter without anybody else. Every camera position has been designed so that you can see that Tom is doing everything himself. All that rigging's already been removed from the helicopter. Eventually, this one will be sold to the next customer, who will be getting a bit of Hollywood history, but one that's been fully serviced and restored after that demanding flying. But the real movie magic came through dedication and focus. Tom Cruise developed the skills of a pilot who's flown thousands of hours in a very short amount of time. It's a reminder of just how much further I'd have to go to qualify as opposed to just ride along. So someone who doesn't have any sort of flight training previously, it would probably take them for a very, very talented, coordinated individual two to three months. And that's at six to eight hours of theory per day and a hardcore three hours of flying. Up to 1,500 pilots and trainees come through this facility every year, honing their skills for the police, fire and medical services or for military work. Tom Cruise just happens to be the most famous amongst them and the one whose impossible mission will be watched by millions.